Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Free 2244 and welcome to uh, our interactive announcement video. Now, they did announce this yesterday. However, I was already in the process of making a video. So I want to do put that out first to then get this one out the next day. So we're back here. So let me just go through the trailer first and then I'll go and share my thoughts and uh, everything about that after we've seen the trailer because obviously that's what we're here for. So yeah, IO Interactive have pulled a, a, a huge rabbit out of the hat. Uh, massive project on their hands here. And I think it's a perfectly suited uh, development company to make out this new James Bond game. We haven't had a good James Bond game in many, many years now. Um, but yeah, let's just go through the information. The small amount of information that's on their website itself in regards to this Project 007 game that's coming for interactive it's bond james bond in collaboration with mgm eon productions and delphi io interactive is proud to announce that we will develop and publish a brand new james bond video game project 007 which is a working title features wholly original bond story and will see players earn their 00 status in the very first james bond origin story project 007 will be powered by io interactive's proprietary proprietary Glacier technology and will be made for modern systems and platforms. Project 007 is currently in active development at IO Interactive's offices in Copenhagen, Denmark and Malmo, Sweden. Most Both locations are recruiting elite talent from around the world to join the team that will build out this exciting and unique gaming title. It's true that once in a while the stars will do align in our industry, says Hakan Abrak, which is the CEO of Iron Interactive. Creating an original J James Bond story is a monumental undertaking, and I truly believe that Iron Interactive, working closely with our creative partners at Eon and MGM, can deliver something extremely special for our players and communities. Our passionate team is excited to unleash their creativity into the iconic James Bond universe and craft the most ambitious game in the history of our studio. Robert Marrick, which is MGM's Executive Vice President Global Consumer Products and Experiences, said, James Bond has a strong legacy in the video game space, with some of the most iconic games of all time based on the character. Working with our partners at Eon and at the talented team at Iron Interactive, we plan to bring a new take on this legendary franchise to gamers and Bond fans around the world. Iron Interactive are masters of crafting living, breathing worlds of immersive storytelling. Now, in regards to what I think about the project, I think it's uh, in perfect, capable hands. I think um, if it's a third-person title, obviously it's going to have a lot of similarities to Hitman, which is completely fine in my opinion. Obviously, we've had some missions of Hitman in the past that's clearly James Bond inspired. You just take the World of Tomorrow, for example, the World of Tomorrow, um, the, the mission the Sapienza, that is. The title itself could be a James Bond title movie. The, the world of tomorrow and one of the objectives is to take down a, a virus that could you know kill a ton of people it's just like a james bond plot and just the outfit that he wears as well this is very reminiscent of like daniel craig and um even in the paris mission when he was wearing a tuxedo there's a lot of james bond elements especially in the hitman one uh, not so much in hitman 2 but in hitman one they, they're clearly showing that they're very highly inspired by the james bond franchise and with the amount of gadgets that uh, you know 47 has at its hands in hitman it's obviously going to tra uh, transfer over to um, over to james bond and uh, see what clever gadgets they can come up with in that game if it's a third person game 
obviously I'd like it to play out similarly to uh, Hitman that would be kind of cool um, essentially you're gonna have 47 but with hair <laughs> but um, I, I'm I'm excited for this I think I'm not sure when it's gonna come out it's probably a couple of years down the line yet because obviously they haven't even named it yet but it's just an exciting uh, time to announce it it's exciting that uh, MGM and Eon and Delphi and IO Interactive are working together and making this uh, the next James Bond experience for next gen I think it's going to be a very very exciting game to play in terms if I'm going to cover content for it sure I don't mind it just it sort of kind of depends on uh, what it all entails and you know uh, what kind of sort of game it's going to be we don't know anything about it so far but like I said if it's a third person game I'd like it to play out similarly to Hitman obviously it's a James Bond game so it's not going to be completely the same but if there's stealth elements and it's a third person just like this, I'll be more than happy to cover it, especially on this level by level basis. Also, if it's a first person shooter, however, I would seriously like them to try and get as close to Goldeneye as possible. Goldeneye, 007 Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64 back in the day was, was and still is probably the best FPS of all time. I really, really enjoy that game as, as a child. I still enjoy it as an adult. I think it's one of the best games ever made. <laughs> I would probably go out and say that. I really, so there was just something about GoldenEye. It's one of them games that a lot of people like, that a lot of people can't explain why they like it. It's just one of them games that is just really fun to play. Something really satisfying about the combat and stuff like that. It's the fluidity of it, the stealth elements, all the weapons you've got. Um, I just thought it was a lot of fun to play. The music was just banging. It was just so good. But uh, if they can, if they're doing a first person, I'd like it to be similar to that. Either that or 007 Nightfire. That was back on the PS2. I had a lot of fun with that game too. That was a lot of fun. But GoldenEye was a disappear game, in my opinion. The, the last third person James Bond game I played was. 007 Everything or Nothing for the PS2. I think the PS Brosnan was the star in that one still. I think it was made by Electronic Arts. Um, that was a very good game. I, I, From what I remember, that was a very good game that I really enjoyed. Uh, the last James Bond... I think another one came out called 007 Bloodstone. It just wasn't the same at all. I'm not sure if I played that or not. I think I've seen footage of it. I thought, is it going to be like Everything or Nothing? And it wasn't. So, it looked... It didn't look very good at all, and I've heard that it wasn't a very good game either. I'm not sure if that was the last James Bond game made. No, no, they made they made, they tried to do another Goldeneye, didn't they? Goldeneye Reloaded or something? That was terrible. I think it came out in the, uh, the the GameCube, if I remember correctly. I'm not completely certain on that. But Rogue Agent, Rogue Agent. I don't know. There's there's so many of them now. I played Agent Under Fire, Rogue Agent, um, Re Reloaded. I think it's called. Goldeneye, Nightfire, I don't know, there's so many, that, but I've, I've had a lot of history playing the old James Bond games, so you can say I'm a little bit, quite, a little bit experienced at least, anyway, so if it plays like third person, I just want it to be like Hitman, if it plays first person, I'd like it to be like Goldeneye or Nightfire, them two are very good games. Third person, again, if it's like Everything or Nothing, that was a very fun game to play. I don't want too much action, but obviously James Bond is a lot of action, action based, but it'd be really cool to see what they can come up with and i'm really excited about it but yeah i will cover content for it just depending on what kind of a uh, game it's going to be let's go wait out see so if there's more information but if you are information looking for more information about this i will cover all the news for it in the future and so if you are not subscribed make sure you are subscribed to the channel and that will wrap up this video just want to say thank you uh, for watching. Thank you very much for listening. Again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed for all the latest news and updates and all that kind of stuff for Hitman and all everything I interactive. And drop a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments too about all this information. Big shout out to Paul Lilly, Venom24, The Power Bunny, Big D, and Bedry for becoming top tier Psycho Sasa members. I really do appreciate it. Click the join button below if you want to become a member just like them. And click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, in the description is uh, my Patreon if you want to become a member of the Patreon. More than free, happy to do so. Join Discord, follow me on Twitter, buy my merch, and I'll see you guys later. See you in the next video. Cheers.